Hi there, Karen with Ageless Beauty Pro here. And um, today in this video, I am going to cover a few things about um, some different frequently asked questions that I get. Um, what do certain products do? What's the best lifting product? How to use the products? Cover the Sculpla line, Neogenesis line, and how to use them. And um, just go over several different things that I get from some of my clients and from some customers and some from you guys out there. So funky hair do there. I'm going to talk about uh, what is ultimately the best thing for lifting. Now, if you are a sagger, this is going to be something that you're concerned with. This is my own personal issue. Uh, if you're a sinker, not so much. So for lifting, I find the absolute best thing to use is going to be uh, the mini or a microcurrent. And you want to use a microcurrent that has probes that can really get in there and define those muscles. Um, I don't understand these large probe microcurrents. I don't understand a singular probe mi microcurrent. That is not how microcurrent is ultimately designed to be used. It is used, um, you know, under the muscles to really get in there and lift and sculpt these things. And so you need a microcurrent with probes that can really do that. And the only one that I have personally seen for home use that is a portable one-use unit, uh, you know, handheld unit, is the mini because it has those smaller probes on it and um, I've used the new face I had a couple of those you know before um, I wanted to have a handheld unit I had a couple others that had um, different design that was kind of weird to me it didn't really work for me um, and the only thing that I really like about you know using you know, maybe the new faces, it hits a lot of, a lot at one time because those probes are so huge. The mini itself, you know, you can really work your lips. You can work in sculpting and really get, you know, like under the eye area or whatever. So that is one reason that I really like that particular microcurrents. Not just because I sell it in my shop. It's because it's the one that I really think does the closest to a professional treatment that you can do at home and it's handheld, it's affordable, etc. Um, so for lifting, it would definitely be the mini. Uh, for plumping, which is different than lifting, although they do kind of play together, of course the Time Master Pro, you, you're, you're just, this is, this is the device for that. Um, it's pretty intense. I've done a, another video and I'll do another follow-up one in a little while, but um, I really think the Time Master Pro is more for like sucking out those contours. Like if you've got a lot of hollows and things forming or some just sort of that cragginess that uh, your skin is not real plump and juicy, the Time Master Pro is going to be your best friend. So that coupled with the uh, Sculpta line, that's, that's going to be amazing for plumping up your skin. It's really given me a nice cushion in my skin and I, which I was noticing a couple years before I started using those products um, I was developing kind of that old lady skin that it, it was thinner and I was using retinols and all the good stuff you know and doing all the good pr protocols that are out there but I just couldn't seem to um, you know bring back sort of that plump juiciness that we we really want so that's helped and um, the mini ultimately those are the good you know, lift, plump, suck out those contours, and not in a chipmunky way that, like if you go get some filler, um, I've seen filler and I've had filler that's not so great. I've had a little bit of good filler. I don't really deal with this much anymore because I really like owning my own collagen. And I did a video on that. I'm, I'm big on owning your own collagen, creating your own protocols that work for you, um, you know, aging gracefully and naturally and not looking artificial, not running to the dermatologist all the time. I'm not against filler. I mean, a little bit, if used judiciously and well by a well-trained person, can be wonderful. Um, but I really think it can go wrong in a lot of cases, and I'm sure you've seen those. I know I have. And um, I think if you 
own your own collagen and you find protocols that really work for your particular needs, not every product is for everybody. And I know the skincare companies want you to believe that, but that's not true. So find the protocols that work for you and your issues, and then you have control over that. So um, the next thing that I guess I would talk about are wrinkles and mines. And if you are a sinker, this is going to be more of your issue. Um, the wrinkles are something where you really need to resurface and regenerate your tissue. So with that, you're going to get a lot of use out of the Sculpla mask. If you can get the in-office Sculpla treatment mask and then follow that protocol, you're going to be amazed by what that can do for your skin. But you also want to regenerate your tissue. So the Neogenesis products are going to be great for that as well. Um, I wouldn't say that necessarily that devices are your thing. Devices are more for us saggers, where we can really get in there and lift and sculpt those muscles. Um, I find that uh, sinkers are needs are very well addressed by products and including exfoliating and resurfacing that skin, which is ultimately important for all of us. I think you'll find every single protocol that I talk about begins with exfoliation. I don't believe there's enough good exfoliation going on out there. So I think if you have a good gentle exfoliator, and I'm not talking about like a, sh a shower scrub or something like that, I'm talking about a good light chemical exfoliator or um, an enzyme peel, something like that that's really going to unglue those dead cells and dissolve them away in a more gentle way than say kind of ripping them off with a scrub or even a microdermabrasion which I know is incredibly popular it works it gives beautiful results quickly um, I have kind of moved away from doing those treatments over the last few years only because I find that they and there's a lot of research on why maybe you should think twice about it with telomeres, etc., and shortening those, which we don't want to do. But it can be very harsh on your skin and ultimately leave little microscopic tears and rips in your skin, which can exacerbate over time, become wrinkles and, and things like that. So that's my own personal vision on that particular treatment. If you love it, by all means, do whatever makes you happy, but that's, I just find a more gentle chemical or enzyme exfoliation really works wonders to give a beautiful glow. It handles acneic skin, problem congested skin, uh, large pores, any anything where you need a resurfacing of your skin. You can do a stair-stepped collagen treatment, um, not collagen, I'm sorry, glycolic peel. And that works wonders too, but start low and then move high. Don't think you're going to go out there and try a 30% peel or higher right away. It's, it can be tough on your skin. So start low, go high, do a series of six. I've seen miraculous results with glycolic peels. So you can do that. You can do an enzyme or just even a good mask. I have... Um, a it's really the good mask. mask by Expertise. It, I don't know if you've seen it. It's pretty popular on Instagram, etc. But it, it, it gives you, if you've only got like five minutes and you really need an exfoliation and a nice glow and your pores to look like, your skin looks like porcelain after you use this mask. It's really nice. Um, that's a really nice one. I just started using that. It's very spa. It's very natural based smells great it kind of looks funky it's it's a clay based mask so it's kind of brown and goopy but it leaves with nice results very quickly uh so moving on from that wrinkles you're going to resurface your skin and then regenerate the tissue and you can use the um you know retinol is a very good product for about everybody uh, the Sculpin line is wonderful for really filling those lines and, and getting in there with that polyolactic acid and boosting your collagen and helping it grow naturally. Uh, LED is a device that's going to be very handy for you sinkers with wrinkles and lines. Um, that's going to also help regenerate the collagen as well. So those are a few things you can keep in mind. Um, 
let's see, for uh, my notes here, um, regenerating and working on your overall skin tone, you're going to want to use a product like exfoliate of course you're going to do your led which is going to help you brighten overall as well as rebuild collagen and then uh, use the neogenesis line if possible that's a very good line for regenerating tissue it's got stem cells and fibroblasts and a number of really potent uh, things in that product line and it's a very good regenerative uh, skincare product. I didn't use the Neogenesis for a, a while. When I first tried it, I just was kind of like, eh, I love the recovery. That one I thought was great right off the bat. Uh, the rest of them, I just thought, okay, it's good, I guess. But, you know, but I didn't, I don't think I gave it a really a fair shake. I use sample size, which is fine to kind of get an idea of the product, how it performs with your skin. But once I started using the full size, I got a full size from an esthetician friend of mine. She had a one in a damaged box and I was saying how I didn't you know, really get it, that product. And she said, use it, just here, take this, take it with you and use it. And I used it and I, I was just like, well, yeah, I see why this is such a cult following. This, this stuff is great. But anyways, that, Regenerating is going to be that. Building collagen is going to definitely be, you know, your LED light and your Sculpla products. Those are going to work on building collagen. Now, using devices are like, uh, say, the TMP, that's going to help as well. Uh, it's kind of more of a secondary uh, function, but it's definitely going to help regenerate that tissue and get in there and help boost your collagen production which is ultimately what all aging is, is your collagen production goes down, you know, as well as sun and damage and things like that. But when you, when you own your own collagen and you boost your own collagen, it's yours, you've got it. So if you know some things that you know work for you, and like I said, not every single product's for every single person. So find out what works for you and your particular issues and then go with that. Just lean right into those products. So I'm going to give you just a couple of quick tips here on um, uh, using like a mini, a, a TMP device, anything like that. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to release your fascia. Okay, so my one, number one favorite fascia tool, I don't have it here right now, it's that little orange one with the and you can really get in there and lightly just release all of that you know before you do a treatment and you can do it around your eyes your forehead the whole thing another tool that I'm using right now is this gua sha tool it's this jade tool which is really nice it 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 follows the contours of your face which is really nice and the contours of your jaw but it can also help get in there underneath like say the cheekbone here and if you just gently work it back and forth you're going to be able to release your fascia a little bit and this feels really good especially on tender points um, you can use the other side as well to kind of really get in there if you've got now if you'll find when you start doing this there's a lot of little nodules and painful little spots in there that's because your fascia is really tight and um, especially if you grind, I grind my teeth at night, which I, I wish I didn't do it, but I get a lot of pain right here in my jawline and that's really going to kind of help you, you know, um, release that and you just use it very gently. You know, you're not going to stab yourself with this, but you just use it and kind of release that right in there. And you can also use it in the eye area. There's a little point right here under your eyebrow that if you press and hold, and you can even rub it gently all in this area, your sinuses are, you know, right in this area. This will also help release anything like that, any fluid that you've got, doing it around your eye. And so, you know, this is, this is wonderful 
You, you can just work around and find your little tender points. But releasing your fascia first, before you do a treatment like a device like the Mini or the uh, Time Master Pro is going to be key because ultimately your fascia is like that filament between like say you have a piece of raw chicken and you put, peel the skin back and you've got the meat and then you've got the skin and there's a fine filament right in between there. That's like what our fascia is and it kind of holds everything into place. And you don't want to blast it away and totally get rid of it because it's very useful. But ultimately what I, I what I do, how I describe this to clients is say that this is like your face or even cellulite, cellulite, you know, those little pockets um, little p dimples that we get. Uh, it's a lot of it is tight fascia and see all those that's a little dimple dimple or wrinkle 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 and when you go over that with your fascia and you kind of gently release that what's going to happen is that's going to kind of smooth out and lay and lay flat instead of all bustled up like that. So if you're not getting results with a uh, microcurrent, sometimes I, see, I hear people say, oh, I use microcurrent, it didn't do anything for me. Well, number one, you're either, it's not meant for you, maybe it's not your particular protocol that you should be using. Number two, you might not be using it properly or using the right type of device. And number three, it's very possible that you've got very tight fascia and if you've got tight fascia, your muscles are not going to do what you tell them to do. They're going to stay locked in place. So if you release that fascia and you just kind of gently allow them to be worked, then you can more easily lift and sculpt and plump and use these devices with much better results. So uh, the last thing that I would suggest doing is another little tip if you do have a mini or um, a device like that and you want a little extra boost in your treatment you can either layer on some serum and then put your gel over it and then do your treatment um, I do that sometimes it depends on what the serum is so sometimes I don't because I like to wash that gel off and then, you know, I feel like, okay, I put gel on, then I put conductive gel on, and now I'm washing it all off. If it's kind of a, a not very expensive product, <laughs> I'll do that, or it's something that I don't mind, and I can drive that in with it. Or you can just put a little Neogenesis in your hand, like a drop or two. The booster is great in there, or you can even do, uh, you know, some drops of your uh, cavi mist, or your scalpla mist, mix that all up, put it all over your face, and then do your scalpla um, spray during your treatment. So if you have that Neogenesis gel that you're using, just put a few drops of Booster or something in there. Um, this isn't going to work with the Cavi serum, but you can use like a Booster or something like that. Just dropped in there just a very little bit and boost up your treatment. So those are just a couple little tips like that in case you do use that device. All right, so that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think, if you have any questions or comments or anything like that. And um, go to my agelessbeautypro.com uh, site and you can sign up there and I give out promo codes and discounts and offer special sales and things like that. Okay, thanks for watching.